Alright guys, can we please chill out with the fucking dislikes in the last video? It was just a joke. Right now it got 21 dislikes, which we don't usually get. We get like maybe like five to six, but this one got 21. It got 47 um likes though, so yeah. But can we chill out with all the fucking dislikes? It was just supposed to be a joke. I mean like come on you should have known you was gonna get money wiped or your account reset from doing the glitch it was no way rockstar was gonna let all of you keep all that money if you had been playing since the time the lester glitch was around you'd have known not to do the glitch because i did it for a video and i even got money wiped it was only six mil so it wasn't really that bad so yeah i was thinking about making a video and telling you guys not to do it but i thought you guys would have known better than to do the glitch like come on and yeah you guys got money wiped or account reset the video was just a joke obviously i feel bad for you guys because some of you high ass levels been playing the game for like years and stuff and you just got your account reset just like that but next time if there's a glitch like that i'll make sure i make a video on it telling you guys not to do it or you guys should have just asked me or something like come on anyway yeah so today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the um fake ass white joggers in gta so they look like white joggers but if you look closely at them you can see that they're clearly not white joggers but it looks kind of like white joggers so we are going to be doing the transfer glitch and you're going to be losing all your outfits except for only one so before you start you want to make sure that you equip the outfit that you don't want to lose also go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece doesn't matter which one you buy just go to ammunition and buy either a rebreather or an earpiece once you're ready to start the glitch, come to the clothing store, set your spawn location to last location, hit your pause button, go to online, and go to swap character. So I'm going to say this one more time because I know there's going to be people in the comment section that ask about it. You are going to be losing all your outfits. So before you start, make sure you put on the outfit that you do not want to lose. And you have to main a male character. This is only going to be for male characters. But if you got a female character, it's way easier. Well, it's the same steps, but... You actually get the real white joggers that look way better than this one so i got multiple videos on that if you want to go watch it but this video is going to be mainly for the male characters so once you get inside this little room right here you want to go over to your second character and it's either going to say edit or delete if it says delete under your second character just go ahead and delete your second character and two new characters will walk in and then you should see the edit option under your second character once you see the edit option under your second character just go ahead and select it and when your second character is going you're going to get this alert right here that's going to ask you do you want to make it a level um a level 120 just go ahead and accept it once you accept it and your second character gets in here if it ended up being a male like mine just change it into a female but if it was already a female just leave it as a female go ahead and save, save and continue and then make a random name for it once you make a name for it um, and it's loading, it may or may not play the casino DLC trailer. It shouldn't play it since there's been that summer DLC, but if it plays the um, casino DLC trailer, it's not going to affect the glitch. You're just waiting to get spawned inside your new session. Once you get spawned inside your new session, the first thing you want to do is make your way over to... Actually, the first thing you want to do is open up your mini-map and check to see if there are any clothing stores in your session. So as you can see for me, there's one down the street right there. If there are no clothing stores inside your session, just go ahead and find a new session or just switch sessions. And the clothing stores are going to be inside that new session. But if you do see clothing stores inside your session, make your way over to the nearest one. So if you don't see any clothing stores in your session, just switch sessions or find a new session. And if you do see the clothing stores, make your way over to the nearest one. So once you get inside the clothing store, first you want to go to the top section, go to leather jackets, and you want to buy the black cropped biker. So just come over here to the top section, go to leather jackets, and buy the black cropped biker. 
once you got that you want to back out stay in the top section go to tucked t-shirts and you're gonna buy the black classic so just stay in the top section go to tucked t-shirts and buy the black classic so this one right here once you got that you're gonna make your way over to the pant section go to sport pants and you're gonna buy the um spotted muscle pants so just come over here to the pants section go to sport pants and you're gonna buy the spotted muscle pants once you got that you're gonna make your way over to the shoe section go to high heels and you're gonna buy the off white platforms so just come over here to the shoe section go to high heels and you're gonna buy the off white platforms So once you've got that, you want to make your way over to the accessories, go to the earrings. And if your female character has any earrings on, make sure you take them off because some female characters do spawn in with the earrings by default. So if your female character had earrings on, make sure you take them off. Once you take them off, you're going to make your way over to the gloves and you're going to buy the light woodland tactical gloves. And they've been moved down to slot 12. So just go down to the gloves and buy the light woodland tactical gloves. Once you've got that, just go ahead and come save your outfit. And when you save it, make sure you save it in the empty slot that's on your main character. So if the outfit that you didn't want to lose on your main character was in slot 20 or like slot 10 or something, you'll just save this in a empty slot. So just save this in a empty slot that's on your main character. So once you've saved it, you're going to hit B a circle to go back. You're going to go to the standard outfits and buy the Chica outfit. Once you got that, just go ahead and completely back out. Hit your pause button, go to online and click on creator. Once you get loaded inside a creator, click on create a race and then you want to click on land race. Once you get loaded in, click on race details, go ahead and fill out the title and the description. It doesn't have to be anything specific. I just put in um, a whole bunch of random stuff for it. So just fill out the title and description. Go ahead and take the photo and then you want to set the maximum players on two and then you want to put the root type on point to point. Once you've got that, hit your pause button, open up your map, and you want to warp over to the airport. Once you get to the airport, just hit B or circle, your back button, click on placement, click on place triggers, go ahead and place it down, back out of that, and then you want to click on lobby camera, go ahead and take it, then back out of that, and then you want to click on checkpoints. Now it doesn't matter how many checkpoints you place down, as long as you make the race point 62 miles or longer. So just go ahead and make the race point 62 miles or longer. Once you've made it point 62 miles or longer, just hit your back button twice, either B or circle, and it's gonna give you the option to test out the race and you wanna go ahead and test it out. So once you finish the race, you're going to get this completed alert. Just go ahead and accept it. Once you load in, just hit your pause button, go to online and click on choose character. And from here, if you guys haven't already dropped a like on this video, make sure you drop a like on it real quick and make sure you subscribe if you haven't, you know, you can share it when you're done watching it. And if you watched that last video, the 6 9 video, make sure you drop a like on that one too and remove your dislike, please. Anyway, once you get inside of here, you're going to go over to your second character and you're going to the leader. So make sure you go over to your second character 
I don't want you guys to lean your main character by accident. Go over to your female character that got the Chica outfit on and you're going to delete her. Once you delete your female character, two new characters will walk in. From here, just go ahead and hit B or circle your back button and it's going to take you inside of single player. So once you get loaded inside of single player, all you're going to do is hit your pause button, go to online, go to play GTA online, and just go inside of a invite only session. So all you're doing in single player is going inside of a invite only session. Once you get loaded in online, first thing you want to do is make sure you save your outfit that you didn't want to lose because it's not going to be saved. So wherever you spawn that, make sure you save your outfit that you didn't want to lose because it's not going to be saved. And when you save it, make sure you save it towards the bottom so it doesn't get in the way when you're trying to merge your outfits. Alright, so once you've saved your outfit, now you want to make your way over to the pant section go to cargo pants and you're gonna buy the large gray large cargo so just come over here to the pant section go to cargo pants and you're gonna buy the large gray large cargo so these right here just go ahead and buy them once you got that make your way over to the top section and go to the racing jerseys and you can either buy the turbo motocross racing jersey or the pump motocross racing jersey this is just for the gloves so whichever gloves you want on your outfit just go ahead and buy the racing jersey you want so either the pump motocross racing jersey or the turbo motocross racing jersey those look the best with it i think but just buy any racing jersey that you want the gloves on if that makes sense but once you got that you want to come over to the boots and you want to go ahead and buy the charcoal tactical boots so just come over here to the um, shoe section go to the boots and buy the charcoal tactical boots So these right here, just go ahead and buy them. Once you got that, just hit your pause button, go to online, go to jobs, play jobs, rockstar created, go to versus, and you're gonna start up crud cops. Once you start up crud cops, make sure you put the clothing on player owned, and you wanna invite either a friend or a random. If you don't put the clothing on player owned, the glitch will not work. So make sure you put the clothing on player owned and invite either one friend or one random to join. So once you get inside of here, just go down to owned outfits and hit right on the D-pad once. And from there, you're going to have the checkerboard top with your racing gloves from the jersey selected and your fake white joggers with checkerboard shoes. So from here, just go ahead and ready up.
once you get loaded inside of crooked cops all you want to do is open up your interaction menu go to your styles go to your accessories and put on either a rebreather or an earpiece whichever one you decide to buy after that close your interaction menu open up your phone and quit the job from your phone Once you get loaded in online, first thing you want to do is make sure you go save your outfit because it's not going to be saved. So go save your outfit with your fake white joggers. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Once you save the outfit, you can delete the component since you don't need it anymore. So that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like on it, share, subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget to turn your post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. And like I said already, make sure you drop a like on this video. I said like five times, but drop a like on it. Go back to that 6 9 video and also take back your dislike because it was a joke. But yeah, see you guys in tomorrow's video.